Hi Gemini, it's Elle here to do your love messages for July, uh, going into August, okay? Um, I have shuffled and prayed over the cards off camera. Um, so let's get started. Thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Remember to comment below because that automatically enters you to win a free reading, okay? Um... All of my information of how to contact me, my website is below also. Okay, so we're going to do four cards for the situation. So with this deck, we're going to get the situation, what's going on with you. And then in it, with another deck, I'm going to pull advice, advice cards, okay? It's the situation for Gemini. Love messages for Gemini. This is strictly for love. Sun, moon, and rising. Whatever. You know. Whatever. Bottom of the deck, the six of earth. Alright. We'll come back to that. Alright. We have the empress. The four of fire. The ten of earth. The messenger of water. Beautiful cards. Um, okay. So... This is for my Gemini man, honestly. Um, there's someone who you feel or you have really strong feelings for. You think they're very creative, beautiful, outgoing, well-spoken, looks good, is good. There was a relationship here. You thought it could be very stable and you wanted to offer your, your cup, your cup of emotional investment meaning you know giving yourself emotionally to this person um could be a water sign cancer pisces scorpio fire sign earth sign for some of you if you're a gemini woman it might be another party involved another woman involved in in the midst of the relationship that you've already that you have established with someone a capricorn virgo taurus aries sagittarius leo or a cancer pisces scorpio uh this person your partner is um wanting long okay longing to invest emotionally with someone else they they're looking away from the reading they want to offer their cup somewhere else maybe due to the instability or the inequality of a relationship someone feels like they give more it could be money it could be love it could be time it could be energy and the other person is a taker um They feel like they want more out of the, the relationship, out of the situation. You guys have something established together, but there might be... You see how these two cards are on the outside? There's a woman on the outside of the relationship. Your partner is emotionally investing elsewhere or wanting to. For some of you, you blocked someone. You blocked someone, but now you want them back. You don't know if you can go backwards. You don't know if this person will be receptive to it. You play that game of, I'm not talking to you. I'm not responding to you. I'm not dealing with you. But now you want them back because you look at them in this manner. You look at them as if you could have this with them. You're wondering if they're emotionally investing somewhere else now that they aren't contacting you, that they haven't contacted you. Things have gone stale or quiet. Uh, okay. Some of you, your partner just outright feels like there is an imbalance, an imbalance of mental energy, an imbalance of emotional energy. Some of your partners feel like you are um immature um they feel like you can't do it you can't make it without them they feel like 
this was good for them at one point in their life but now they feel like they may have outgrown the connection in which they feel like being with you is now charity and that's why we had a six of earth i'm sorry guys okay um that's not good okay now we have uh, the advice for Gemini, and it's gonna. Now you pick up whatever your situation is. It's gonna be different for everybody. Um, if it doesn't resonate, leave it. Leave it. Leave it. It's okay. Thank you for the love advice for Gemini. What's the advice for Gemini? What's the advice for Gemini? bottom of the deck the four of cups okay we'll come back to that queen of pentacles the tower the magician the knight of pentacles so the advice here is What you thought you built with somebody, that Ten of Pentacles and that Four of Fire, uh, the Four of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles, it, it you guys built it, but it might have been built on faulty and shaky ground. Meaning, how did it start? You know, um, I don't want to go too deep. But if your relationship started from infidelity, lies deceit disillusionment and you try to build from that then the tower is coming in and shaking that up yes and it might be with the capricorn virgo taurus or you might be the wife or the long-term girlfriend okay or fiance i just heard it all right but the universe is coming and shaking up this energy. You've gone too long in falsehood and fakeness. The advice here is to let the tower crumble because you have a four of cups. There's not just you in this relationship anyhow. There, there's someone else, there's three cups here. But if you turn around, understand that sometimes in situations in life, you have to put you first. It can't be about I'm I'm bored, I'm discontented, or someone else feels this way about you, but they're staying in, in it regardless of how they feel because they're scared to turn around and go it alone. But the universe is offering this cup. The universe is saying, if you choose you, then I can bless you with whatever it is you feel or deem is a blessing for you at that period in your life but you're too scared to walk away from what no longer serves you and or someone else's cancer pisces scorpio um someone brought down the tower so the the advice here is let it let it crumble Secrets, lies, all the stuff being revealed. You already knew that was there because look what you built your, your tower on. You built it. Built it on faulty ground anyhow. You built it on falsehood and fakeness. You built it because at one point you felt like there were no other options or it was a situation of, well it suits me in this manner either monetarily financially um tangibly but now it just doesn't it doesn't resonate with you anymore and you're bringing down that tower because you want to offer love elsewhere 
or you want that stable offer to come in for you. It's either that you, you break the tower down and you rebuild it in the manner that it's supposed to be built on, you work through the issues, you get through things, or you let it fall and you walk away and you choose you and then the universe can bless you with a new offer. You are the magician. You can have what you want. That's what the Four of Cups is about. If you turn and see that you've got to choose you. You're focusing the wrong thing. Okay, some so the some of you focus on you feel like if you walk away you didn't win. The other person won. I don't know what that means. Anyhow, Gemini, if that um if this reading resonates with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Request a personal reading so we can get your energy and see where you are in your own walk. Um my email address is below, my website is below. Um, remember to stay in prayer, Gemini, okay? I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care.